we interrupt normal programming to bring breaking news. We have found the bestest confectionery drink of all time and all that. It tastes like melted salted caramel ice cream. Well, so far, August 23, Asda £1.50. I think it's usually about £1.85. In Morrison's it's £1.85. According to trolley.co.uk where you can compare prices. To me it tastes like salted caramel ice cream, which is good because that's my favourite. It even suggests blending it with ice cream. Not as much as I thought though, but yeah, I'm going to try that with things like yogurt and stuff. Alright, it might be high in the, in the sugar side. We accept that. 64k cal per 100 milliliter. It says do not freeze, but I'm probably going to freeze it if I buy a lot. Although this one unopened, it's 15th of September, that's like five or six weeks away. But it says once opened, use within three days. One litre. Made in Devon, yay! Crediting in Devon. The real milkshake company. Life pouring. Nice texture. Creamy, it says on their website. It's got one of those no fuss caps as well. When you open it, you've not got something to pull here, you know, which does my head in, you know. The cap twists it and the thing goes inside, which is great, you know. Uh, hopefully all the milk things do that now, but I don't know if they do. To me, flavoured milk usually still tastes mostly of milk really, but I don't get that with this. To me it tastes mostly like uh, ice cream, salted caramel ice, caramel ice cream. At first I thought it was a Asda's own brand, but it turns out it's a farm in Darien in Crediton. And uh, yeah, I looked for news on them and I found just one article in the grocer saying that, you know, they're classing themselves as a premium milkshake, which is what it tastes to me anyway, because it's, it's really nice. And first of all, I think they started in Morrison's, 300 stores, then Tesco, and now Asda as well. Asda recently, I think. So that article was from about April 23. I'm going to try adding it to stuff here. I've got some premium yogurt. I've already added some, but there wasn't enough to bring flavour through. I'll try that. No, I probably need to add more. It said in the back there, when it was su suggesting, I think it was half and half, wasn't it? For that. So, uh, you know how it goes and all that, you know? I've got two other flavours at the moment. White chocolate and double double chocolate. I suppose the market there in is the... The milkshake and chilled coffee market, but I mean, I might even prefer this to Iron Brew, which was unthinkable, unimaginable, you know. So, I really think, yeah. I'm wondering if it's too strong that I might, might get fed up with it because it's too strong, but I don't think so at the moment. It's not like coffee where I, I get fed up after maybe two, a few gulps. I mean, I could eat four salted caramel ice creams, you know. But I don't usually like the flavoured milk that much. I mean, I don't drink milk at all anymore, apart from the occasional uh, flavoured milk. But uh, now I might take this quite a lot at the moment. It's my favourite confection I drink. They say 70% less plastic. They're, they're interested in things like that. And they even say you could reuse this, you know. But uh, I wondered... I wondered if this is a, a competitor to that Norwegian packaging thing, who's a multi-billionaire. I think it possibly is, but this, this packaging does feel a bit better, you know. It is lighter, I think. I suppose my preference would be organic, but uh, I would say I would maybe pay up to £2 for organic, although I'd prefer cheaper, of course. Let's look at the ingredients. So you've got fat milk, 1% what are they talking about? 94% f 
Yes, fat milk. I would even like fat milk. So, all the taste is in the fat. Sugar, cornstarch, all the usual things. Skim the milk. Powder. I don't mean milk powder, actually. If I drank milk, the last few times I was just buying milk powder, so I wasn't throwing it out all the time, you know, or carrying it. So, yeah, I would definitely go milk powder. I have no complaints. Stabilizers. Carrageenan. There's that carrageenan in it again. I see that in quite a few things. And the xanthan gum. Calcium sulfate. And there's the big one. Caramelized sugar. What is it, a big one? I don't know. Sugar syrup. Salt. Yeah, it's salty. It does say salty and sweet. Natural flavorings. Maybe that's what the secret is. So, yeah. This is definitely something to put on your trolley and all that, you know. It's in the chilled section. I can't remember if it was with the milk or just... Because it's probably with all those chilled coffees now and stuff. You get it, you know. Because now they have chilled coffee, chilled milkshake. Personally, I prefer when they're not chilled. You know, I don't like chilled stuff. Even this just now. This has been out of the fridge for the day, which may be a bit risky, you know. But it's worth it. I may freeze it in little containers or something, you know. You're not meant to. I wonder what's going to happen. Is it going to be like yogurt with the the sort of structure decays and it, it doesn't decay, it just it disintegrates and you're left with a sort of mush. Well, I'm going to try anyway. I don't think so because that doesn't usually happen to milk, does it? People freeze milk, I do believe. Remember to shake, folks. Credit and dairy. In Crediton, Devon, it's near Exeter, I looked it up. And Devon is between Cornwall and Somerset, so it must be good. Amount of fat, 1.1 grams. Saturates at 0.7. That's per 100 ml. Carbs, 10.1 grams. Mostly sugar. Yeah. Protein, oh, that's good, quite a bit of protein, I suppose. 3.5 grams per 100 ml. Alright guys, that's it. It's all over for the special announcement. Try it, you know you like it. So what I'm saying is, it's the nicest confectionery drink at the moment. Beating even fruit juices and those uh, smoothies I was buying and stuff. It's nicer than them. Uh, but if I'm fed up with it in two weeks, just ignore this video. Okay? And uh, I like everything about it so far though. Especially the taste because I can hardly taste the milk, it's like you're doing usual flavoured milkshakes. Uh, this one's, it's really salted caramel, it's like drinking ice cream salted caramel, melted. Goodbye. Yeah, for greenies, 70% less plastic. And standard milk pet bottles. Tetra Pak was that other brand I was thinking of. And the guy's a millionaire. I've never liked Tetra Pak. Things because they're always a bit awkward, I've always found. So, this carton is made with wood fibre from sustainable forests. I hope that's sort of forest in Scotland where uh, I sometimes go through, they've chopped them all down so that I can see the view in that, you know. I do hope so. So, for every tree that's cut down to make cats, more trees are planted uh, because they're, cat they're mostly made of wood fibre. Alright, oh, guys. And standard plastic milk cans. Let's get more wood fibre, I think. And the same rinse and recycle. So that's for the greenies, alright? Morrison's was 150 recently. I don't know if there's a price war going on, but I still find usually that more I asked her is usually still the cheapest of the big four. It's getting a bit more difficult now because Tesco for the club card thing where you get special deals and uh, Sainsbury's have started doing that with nectar, although in general Sainsbury's is dearer, I find. Yeah, there was one thing recently, it's £1.50 in Asda, I saw for £2.20 in Sainsbury's, but I don't know if that meant if you use your nectar card, it would be £1.50, I don't know, but you know, you know what I'm saying, I know that. For supermarket prices, always check trolley.co.uk. It was great before Martin Lewis got involved. But he did get involved recently and it's still good. I think I've preferred it slightly more before. 
But it's still good. It's still great. I don't know why the government don't have a, a price comparison thing, you know. But, uh, yeah, it's really useful. Trolley.co.uk I'm a great respecter of Martin Lewis. In fact, I would call him a hero and uh, the best. For anyone with money, things I'd say always refer to his sites. Of course, he sold it for 80 million to that one comparison site, but he seems to be being, still being able to juggle the independence of money, money facts. What's he called again? Money savings expert or whatever. Uh, he's still managing to juggle being neutral and letting them make money. Uh, but yeah, uh, yeah, always check his advice. I'd also join up his energy helpline thing. Not it's not called the energy helpline. That's that's one of the comparison sites. It's called the uh, well. It's something you sign up and you get email notifications of when the uh, energy prices have changed for you, your specific one. But it's not much use at the moment because they're all flat out maximum. You know, but once the energy crisis is over. Yeah, because those comparison sites, uh, they can make like £50 per sign up. You know, if you sign up to a utility or something. But you can actually get that yourself if you join something like Quidco. One of those uh, cashback sites. So, like Quidco. Yeah, price comparison sites like Quidco. Top cashback. You should be looking through these when you're wanting a new phone deal or... Utility, you're changing the energy supplier or something. That's all right. But even for eBay, Quidco gives you 1% cash back, which isn't a lot, but it's still 1%. Cheaper than it. 